Okay, I'm not controlling it. So let's pull the auto. If I need to stop it, I can switch it to manual. And then I can even I can even adjust. And then it'll continue. So this area right here gets a lot of rocks in the lawn when I push the snow off the driveway. So this area here I really like to go over a lot of times to uh, clean up the, the rocks. I can hear it picking up rocks, so I'm happy about that. So here's a look at Ardu Pilot Mission Planner. So the software you use to set the waypoints. And then you upload all the waypoints to the Pixhawk 4 Mini. And then the Pixhawk 4 Mini follows them when the transmitter is switched to auto. Now the way that it communicates is with this. So it's a 900 megahertz telemetry. A wireless USB connection is what it is over 900 megahertz. So that's how the software is talking to the robot. This is the software I go to to set the waypoints and basically watch the mission being carried out. This is the GPS module that came with the Pixhawk 4 Mini. So this came as a set with this. This I bought separately. That is the HRTK F9P. I'm just plugging it directly in here. I'm not using a base station. I'm just using the additional accuracy of all the international receivers in here for all the different global positioning systems. All right, so we're gonna do some tests running this with the F9P HRTK GPS. We're gonna do several repetitions of this with different starting points in the yard. And we're going to see what the accuracy is of it landing on this endpoint. And then we're going to change the GPS back to the old GPS. That's where I think it's going to stop. So let's see what happens. All right, so we are not armed. We're going to arm it. I can hear the tone coming from the robot. And then we're going to switch it to auto. Okay, that's, that is pretty good. All right, now I'm gonna switch to manual. I'm gonna back it up. So I don't know if some of this inaccuracy might be due to the uh, control algorithm. All right, switching it to auto. And how it decides how much to turn when it hits a waypoint. Because the waypoint radius is set to five. I don't know if that's five feet or what that is, but okay, that wasn't too bad. Switching it to manual. Yeah, if it can come straight on, it does a better job. All right, switching to manual.
go like this, switch into auto. It's going to go out. It's going to have to loop around and come back. Okay, so I had to I had to kick it into manual mode. So this is the HRTK F9P. Okay, so that's not connected. We're gonna connect the original Pixhawk 4 GPS module that shipped with the Pixhawk 4 Mini originally when I bought it. I'm going to disconnect, I'm going to reconnect, satellite count is much lower. We need to hold the switch down so that it's, I need solid red. There we go. Now that switch is set to solid red. Now I can go to manual RC, I can go to arm. I get my arm tone. So first test will just be straight on. Okay, switching to auto. I can tell already it's not going the same place. Okay, it's veering back over. I don't know what that extra tone was. Okay, that was interesting how it kind of seemed like it kind of corrected. Okay, switching to manual. Switching to manual. Switching to manual, auto. Manual, switching to auto. Switching to manual. Uh oh, this one's way off. Ah, point. Auto. Uh oh, that's way off. Okay, I had to intercept it for many. So the F9P, I've, I've seen it sink to as high as 31 satellites. It's really exciting. Finally having a GPS system that's accurate enough to actually do yard work with this robot is so exciting. It's just, it's really, it's, it's really a milestone for me. I, I'm super excited about it. Ooh, that was a good run. Picked up a lot of rocks there. That's because it's heavy. So I haven't emptied it. Finally got, oh, come on, I wanted to get that dead grass. See how much easier this is than doing it manually?
how relaxing, stress-free. So that's where the robot project is right now. Thank you for watching.